A few years ago, I played catcher for the softball team where I worked. I would constantly talk to batters as they came to the plate, always trying to get their eye off the ball, always trying to break their concentration. As believers, we're in a battle too. There's not a softball coming at us, but we're in a battle, and there's someone trying to distract us. That someone is the devil, and the devil is himself and his powers, trying to distract us from what's really important. So how does he do this? He does this by getting us to pursue worldliness, getting us to pursue political power, getting us to pursue wealth. If he can get our effectiveness broken, if he can make us ineffective for Christ, then he's won. He's got a soldier that's on the sidelines that can't play. You and I have to realize the battle we face today is for our mind. Remember the progression of sin. You think about sin, you verbalize the sin, and then you perform the sin. The same thing is true for our spiritual world. If we don't worry about what comes into our mind, then we find that we have a worldly philosophy and a worldly worldview. That sounds kind of big, but I want you to understand it's very important the things you listen to and the things you watch on TV. Those go into your mind and those affect your thinking. It's also important that we're in the Word of God every day. Every day. That's how you get the pollution that comes into your mind out. If your mind is right, then your life will be right and you will be effective for Christ. The battle is for our mind. It's not political. It's not social. It's for your mind and my mind. Let's renew our minds and stay in the battle for Christ. If you like this video, share it. Let's get the word out. If you want to read the full devotional, go to www.practicaldevotional.com. Got to put the www in. Hope you enjoy the days, and we'll see you tomorrow.